So far this year, we've had both the Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S7 Edge on our teardown table. On the repairability side of things, both phones left us wanting more, scoring only a 3 out of 10 on our repairability scale. Today, we have their big brother, the Galaxy Note 7, complete with its 5.7-inch Super AMOLED display, wireless charging, and even fingerprint and iris scanning technology. This phone seems to have all the features you could want, but how will it score on our repairability scale? There's only one way to find out, and that's to tear it down. Hi, I'm Kelsey with iFixit, in for Gwendolyn who's on leave, and today we're tearing down the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Getting into the Note 7 was a good reminder that it's related to both the S7 and the S7 Edge. Once again, we'll need to break out the eye opener and eye slack to get inside. Preventing us from seeing all the goodies inside is the wireless charging coil and what we suspect is the NFC antenna. Fortunately for us, it was held in place by only a few Phillips screws. Next out is the battery. While the cable design features some interesting curves, all it takes is the flick of our spudger to get it disconnected. But when it comes to the battery itself, it took a little extra prying since it was securely glued in place. This is a 3500 milliamp hour, 13.48 watt hour battery that is significantly more powerful than the similarly sized battery in the iPhone 6S Plus. The motherboard comes out next, along with all three of its cameras. First out, the 5 megapixel f1.7 selfie cam. Then came the Note 7's Trick Iris scanner. And finally, the rear camera, which is the same Sony IMX260 we saw in the S7 and the S7 Edge earlier this year. The scanner is actually a two-part system, with a nearby infrared blaster to invisibly light up your eye while the sensor captures the image. It's said to be more secure than a fingerprint, but whether or not it's more convenient to use remains to be seen. Now we can take a look at the board itself. On board, you'll find 64 gigabytes of Samsung-made flash storage and 4 gigabytes of Samsung-made LPDDR4 SD RAM with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 layered underneath. To see the complete list of chips we've identified, head on over to ifixit.com. We're starting to run out of things to take out of this phone, but we still have some work to do down below. The modular headphone jack has a nice sealing gasket, which contributes to the Note 7's IP68 water resistance rating. And below that, the USB-C port comes out with a daughter board that makes use of rigid PCB interconnects, keeping the spidery cable from being flimsy. We've come to the end of our teardown, and now we turn our thoughts towards repairability. How did the Galaxy Note 7 score? It got a 4 out of 10. And here's why. On the upside, many components are modular and can be replaced independently. Improved cable routing means the charging port board can be removed without disassembling the display. The battery can be removed without first dousing the motherboard, but tough adhesive and a glued-on rear panel makes replacement very difficult. But on the downside, front and back glass makes for double the crackability, and strong adhesive on the rear glass makes it very difficult to gain entry into the device. And finally, because of the curved screen, replacing the front glass without destroying the display may be nearly impossible. And that's our teardown! For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high-quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can also follow us on Twitter, at ifixit, and give us a like on Facebook, at facebook.com ifixit.